great tonight. You look fantastic. Oh, you look amazing, although I'm already drunk. But anyway, hi guys. I'll tell you this, I just moved to Los Angeles, which is weird for me. I don't know what I've done moving there, that's crazy. I don't drive, I don't have a driver's license. So now I'm learning to drive, taking driving class with a small Mexican man named Gustavo in the car, it's very nice. He's been teaching me the arm signals. I wanna to learn to drive a car. I'm like, is that, do I need that for a person? I think he's trying to trick me into exercise. I'm not gonna lie, he made me do three sets of 10 and then I had to switch arms, so that was weird, whatever. But here's something you're not supposed to do when you're driving. You're not supposed to scream and take your hands off the wheel. That's not, they don't like that so much. Scared Gustavo, I'm not gonna lie. The Mexican drained right out of his face, I'm not gonna lie. I looked over, small Swedish man shivering beside me. Oh, it's upsetting. And now I have a roommate. I live alone for 15 years, but now I have a roommate and I live with a boy, a boy. And I know this for sure, because when he was sleeping, I totally looked, I totally looked. <laughs> it's nice, but a boy that's not related to me, I'm not married to him. So now it's just a guy living in my house. It's kind of weird. And I'm suddenly very aware of how often I use my electric toothbrush. It sounds exactly the same. It sounds exactly the same as my, you know, my, 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 my back massager. Um, although my back is in a different place. Let's move on, guys. Uh, so now I'm like, okay, what about when I use my back massager? What am I gonna do then, you know what I mean? So now I run my hair dryer when I use the back massager. So if there's a, if there's a blackout on the West Coast, that's totally me, that's totally me. Sorry, guys. But the one thing I will say very nice about the roommate, you can't be crazy if you got a roommate. If someone is coming home, you can't be a crazy person. You can't just cry and eat out of the garbage. You can't do that anymore. That's done. You know, they come home, you hear the keys in the door and you're like, oh shit, they're home. Okay, quickly. Oh God, be normal, quickly. Oh God, hide the puppets, hide the puppets. Ah, ah. You know, take the dress off the cat. Oh God, you're gonna, get them. You're gonna chase them. <laughs> but it's cardio, so that's nice, that's nice. You wanna try to get that in your day. One other thing that I've realized in my life, I need a hobby. I have no hobbies. I'm serious, does anyone have a hobby? Do you have hobbies, anybody? Do you? Except for sitting and staring. Do you have a hobby, liars? <laughs> One woman screamed out, I scrapbook, she said. Scrapbooking. She said that in front of a large group of people. And I was like, do you, don't say, do you ever wanna get laid again? You don't say scrapbooking, you don't say. <laughs> Unless, of course, you're scrapbooking all the guys you fucked. Yeah, right? Yeah, that is good. You're having a good night, you're like, oh, I'm gonna get the glue gun for this one. Hello, right? Yes, I would look at that porn scrapbook right away. But one thing I do enjoy, my favorite hobby is panicking. Oh, I love to panic. Oh, my favorites, right? But it's, here's the thing, I also, I watch a lot of scary stuff, a lot of stuff about murder. This is not good for my brain, you know? And I'm scared doing everything. The other day I was taking a shower because I thought it's about time, so I'll take a shower. And you know when you wash your face in the shower and then you do the old rinse off under the, under the shower stream. The other day I was doing that, eyes closed, but then I was so scared to open my eyes because assu I have assumed that the water has turned to blood. Is that just me? <laughs> also, I smoke a lot of pot, but anyway, let's move on. That's not a part of the story. One thing that also scares me too, do you ever have, sometimes you're having a good night and you have some peanut butter? Come on, let's live on the edge. Let's have some peanut butter, right? Do you ever do this? You panic because you look into the jar of peanut butter and you don't recognize the tracks in the jar. Do you ever do that? Where you're like, oh my God, I don't remember that scoop. Who took that scoop? And you panic, because you assume that someone has broken into your house and they're gonna rape you. Is that just me? Do you think about that? Because that's what I would do if I was gonna rape someone. I'd have some peanut butter. Are you with me? A little protein. <laughs> All right. Here's something else that makes me very upset. Uh, people that sleep naked. Oh my God, I don't understand you at all. Who sleeps naked? Do you sleep naked? Anyone sleep naked? Do you? Sluts. Anyway, um, what? I don't understand you sleeping naked. First of all, I, for, I don't sleep naked. Number one, you're welcome. Number two, uh, what if something happens in your house? What if something goes down in your house, you know? Like if there's a fire or something? And I know what a lot of you are thinking, yeah, but if there's a fire and I'm already naked, yeah, the firemen come over. I get it, I get it. But you gotta crawl out of your house naked. That is not a good look for anybody, guys. That is not. I always like to be ready for an emergency at all times. All times, you know? So like when I fly, I like to wear my running shoes, a jog bra, I'm ready to go. Do you know what I mean? And then I'm always judging everyone else on the flight. Do you know, if I ever see a thin girl and she's wearing like a pencil skirt and high heel shoes on the plane, I always look at her and I think, you know what, sister, if we go down, <laughs> I'm eating you first. I'm eating you first. 
she's an appetizer. I'll eat her friend too. Anyway, uh, one reason that I won't that I won't sleep naked and go with me on this one is because I'm scared that something is going to crawl into me. Go with me on this one. Uh, it's because I watch a lot of horror movies and then I follow it with porn right after. And that is, that's a terrible idea. Don't do that. You're never getting straight eight hours after that. There's no way that's happening. Oh God, another thing that frightens me about porn is uh, that it's really creepy now. I've been alone for a while. And now like, does anyone just kiss and do it anymore? Is that, no? Now it's all weird. I saw this uh, one list in a magazine about what men find sexy. So I read it, a cross-eyed girl is what men like, a cross-eyed girl. I, I officially give up on men. I don't understand what you want in life. So a weak ocular nerve is sexy to you. Is that what that is? I don't understand. I went to school with a little girl and you know, in junior school, little girl was cross-eyed. So what she had to do, she had to wear an eye patch, you know, so the other eye could catch up, get strong. Aw. And her mom, to make it better, would draw an eye on the eye patch. Aww. She's like, no one will notice. <laughs> but enjoy your eating disorder. Enjoy that though, that's fun. So sad, a kid with an eye patch, isn't that sad, you know? It's like when you see a dog with a cone on its head. Aw, it's so sad, <laughs> you know? Or when you see like a 45-year-old guy with an earring. Aw, that's so sad. <laughs> we should put him down, he's had a good life. We should put him down, right? He's lived a... Another thing too, I'm, I'm turning into an old woman. I'm in my late 30s now. Uh, some people say 42, I say late 30s. I say late 30s, <laughs> different dialect, you know? And I find, as I get older, things start to change, you know? Now I find that I have no patience for bullshit anymore. None at all. I'm just done with that. And you know what I hate the most? I hate people that don't hate people. Oh, <laughs> you are the worst people out there. Do you know those ones? I love everyone. What is wrong with you? Are you slow? Grow up. Grow up and hate somebody. Are you with me? Come on, Gandhi. Here's the thing. You can't like everybody. You can't like everybody. Not everyone likes you. And the minute you accept that, your life is so much easier, guys. Seriously, I promise you, everyone hates someone. I'm, I don't have proof, but I bet you that Mother Teresa at one point rolled her eyes. You know she did. At some point, she's all hot. She's like, I get it. You're hungry. Shut up. Am I right? That is... Thanks so much, everyone. We'll see you again. Take care. <laughs>